Take what you want, take what you want, take what you want, take what you want, take what you want. But you gotta share. YouTube what's going on YouTube all right so as far as a small business goes there's a couple other things that you might need um, one is a professional email one is a website and one is a uh, this particular one that I'm about to give you is a suite it has a whole bunch of things in it um, I haven't I've you I use the email I've locked down my domain but I have yet to actually take full advantage of what it is that they offer it's called G Suites, it's by Google. Now, um, <coughs> Google's gonna be around for a very, very alphabet, if you know what I'm talking about. It's gonna be around for a very, very, very long time. So, my email, for example, will be trb at trb.com, right? Instead of trb at gmail.com, which somebody already had when I tried to get it, and I'm just letting y'all know. Um, but if, if you're looking to have a professional email with your company name at yourcompany.com. Check out G Suites again. Like I said in the other videos, relatively inexpensive. Relatively inexpensive. I think for the website domain name, you might pay what like twelve dollars a year. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have a lot cheaper. You can go to GoDaddy and different things like that. And I definitely would suggest checking out GoDaddy as well as far as the website goes. But this particular, the G Suite has everything that most business most businesses need. Um, to get started as well so if you're looking to go ahead and have a professional email when you are out there talking to lenders vendors giving out your your company information uh, it just goes a lot better when you use at your company.com instead of at uh. Gmail there's nothing wrong with Gmail there's nothing wrong with uh, a lot of the free mail services but this particular and it also works since it's go through Google, you can get all of your business information on your phone. You'll just set it up just like you would set up any other Gmail account. On your phone, I have about eight email addresses that I use. You can have a variety of different ones. I use a, a email for social media. I use an email for my business. I use an email for my personal. I use an email for my sponsor. I use two different emails for the uh, YouTube channels that I have. Um, but for the professional email, for when I'm sitting out uh, uh, I'm a truck driver. I'm putting this on multiple channels, so that's the reason why I'm explaining it. I'm a truck driver. When I get something called a rate con, is where they send me a form to sign for the amount of money I'm going to get paid for a particular load. I'd rather that comes to me at mybusiness.com instead of going to a Gmail or anything like that. Um, it's called G Suites. All right, G S U I T E. Definitely check it out. Uh, you'll be able to lock your your company name down. You'll be able to lock down your um your email addresses that you want and you also as an admin you're you're the admin so you can add other people and add several different types of emails to this particular account so it could be me as ceo at whatever.com and then it could be my lady uh cfo at whatever.com and that way it'll be it'll look more professional it'll look more professional um so I'm gonna go ahead and put that here so you guys can take a look at it if you're interested in it. Uh, shoot Google or G Suites, they do have a Twitter or whatnot. Let them know that you saw this video over here on TRB's channel talking about G Suites. It has so many other things that you can do with it. I'm just, this is the tip of the iceberg. You can get your professional email and you can lock down your website. Website is something that you definitely gonna to have to use. Um, for me to learn how to make a website, I went to Wix.com, W-I-X.com. I ported my domain name over from GoDaddy. To get your domain name is really simple, really easy. Um, and is is relatively inexpensive. Again, at the end of the day, everything that you do pertaining to the business is a tax write-off. So any money that you do put out, even if it's a little bit, keep those receipts, keep those emails. That way, uh, every three months when you do your taxes or every year or every quarterly, however you do them, uh, you'll be able to write that off and keep that money to yourself and in your business instead of uh, giving it away to Uncle Sam. Other than that, people, I got about two more videos that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start a different series of videos uh, pertaining to something else. But these are some of the steps that you can take in, in order to um, get your small business established. Get your website, you definitely need a website. 
uh, to learn how to website uh, to do a website there's plenty of YouTubes out there to teach you how to do that but to get your domain name you can definitely use G Suites um, it's basically just Google Suites um, but you will put in G Suites and it will come up for you and I get all that taken care of so now I just showed you how to get a phone number and a fax number all right I just showed you how to get you an office building and I just showed you how to get a professional email and um, website domain all right those are some of the minor requirements if you want to get out here and get some of this business credit next video I'm going to do is uh, doing a very basic explanation of uh, what business credit is to me and um, yeah we're gonna go ahead and get all this taken care of all right listen I am the right brother if you don't know thank you for subscribing like and sharing feel free to share this with your friends uh, and I am out of here thank you any questions you have feel free to hit me or definitely shoot G Suites a tweet let them know that you saw this video on on my channel and um, ask them all the questions that you want I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you all right other than that I am the right brother and you guys have a wonderful day